In this lesson, we shall see how we can actually change a string into an integer or a double or something like this, and the other way around, that means a double to an integer. The little example I have prepared is about a GUI, and inside the GUI we have a price, and then we want to add some Danish VAT, which is, of course, extremely high. So, I cheated a little bit. You made a project and the class VAT. So what I want is that when I'm running this and I'm typing in the price here, and then when I calculate, click this calculate button here, then it will actually calculate the price and the VAT added to this price. So it's the full price of the product. So I need to get some action behind the clicking on this one. Here. Now, first of all, I need to read something in. I need to read the price in from the JTX field. I think that was right. Yeah, get text. Got it. Publish string get text. We can see that it's returning a string. Okay, as usual. Just choose it. And now uh, we get an error. All right, there is, of course, that the price is an integer and the JTX field here is actually returning a string. So that will not uh, work out uh, properly in practice. You can also see a net minus helping us. It says incompatible types required in the found string. So we just have to do something else. We have to change it into a string. Everything is fine. And then we will just add 25%. And I should have the new price. Uh, here I get another error because I cannot do this uh, calculation. It cannot be applied this way because I have a string. It's a string. I need an integer. All right. That means uh, somehow I have to change this uh, price here into a string. So uh, this is a string now, and then this price here, how can it become a double? That is the question. Take the price here. Now, this uh, requires a little bit of investigation. In Java, there is something called Warbler classes. And uh, these Warbler classes can actually uh, help us to change the type of simple data pipes into strings and the opposite way around. Let me see if I can find something. That's not the one I want. Here. After a little bit searching around, I can actually find in the documentation a class double. And this class double uh, has some uh, methods here. And we're going to use these methods. Scrolling a little bit down, I can see there's one method here called pass double. And uh, looking at this, we can see actually it, it takes a string as a parameter and then it is uh, returning a double. So uh, this method looks uh, very interesting and I think we'll just use this method here. I 
put in here but of course we decided it should be a double right so now I got the price and then I also calculate the price so the only thing I now do is actually to put the price back to the JTX field I can also again now I need to go in and find a little bit about this JTX field here if there are some methods that are interesting scrolling down here and trying to look at it is really really not easy especially because the method I'm actually looking for is inherited from another component is the set text method now set text method takes a string and uh, put uh, this string into the specified JTX field or in general the text component that's the method I'm looking for back again here should not be a price string it should just be the price like this and again we have a little error here and we can see it cannot be applied to it. it should be actually a string of course which was also saw before but I found a double so now I actually uh, cannot use this one I need to change the price back to a double Well, there is one method here called to string. And looking at it, we can see that string takes a double as an argument and returns a string. So this is the method I will use right away. Like this. And then we just have to change this one here. All right. Let's see if we can uh, run this program. Yeah. Meanwhile, you are waiting. I can tell you that we also have uh, another robot class, like uh, something called uh, integer. So there's also some other classes. Now let's take a price. One thousand good Danish crowns, not euro. I will click on calculate, and we can see it has added uh, twenty-five percent. So this one here works perfectly all right. Now there are other ways of, of doing this. A simple trick here could be, let's copy it, I'll show you something else. Mm, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's okay. Let's take this price here. Now we can convert the price into a string by just doing like this. If we do like this, this uh, set text will automatically interpret it, this one here as a string. So we run a program again just to verify. Calculate. Everything is fine. So there are several ways of, of doing this here. So uh, that actually is the story of how to convert a number, any number, into a string and vice versa. That means we have ended the string number conversion and uh, now I think uh, you are ready to do the next assignment, calculate the GUI. And good luck with that too.